Our question number 5, part A says, find all the real solutions of a cubic equation. 2x cubed plus 3x square minus 35x is 0. And you got 3 marks for this question. Again, I repeat this again and again. You need to read the question word by word carefully. They want you to find all real solutions. What do they mean by real solutions? When you solve an equation, you might get a real number or a complex number, an imaginary number. Imaginary number is a square root of a negative number. So when you put, uh, when you, uh, when you have square root of a negative number, you just omit the uh, solution because that's not a real solution. So when they say find all real solution, we consider only the real numbers. And okay, so how do we solve this cubic function? cubic equation. We take x as a common factor. So it will become x into 2x square plus 3x minus 35 is 0. And put them separately equal to 0. So you will have x is 0. That's our one of our solution. And this quadratic function, quadratic expression 2x square plus 3x minus 35 is 0 and solve it separately using any method I'm going to use the formula quadratic formula so our x is minus b b is the coefficient of x plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac the c you need to take the number together with the sign not only C, all A, B, C, when you take, you need to take the numbers together with the sign. And 2A. So when you simplify this, you get minus 3, square root of 9 plus, you get 435 is 140, 280. So 280 divided by 4, which is... Minus 3 plus or minus square root of 289, which is 17, if I'm not wrong. So, minus 3 plus or minus 17 upon 4. You don't do all this simplification. You can just use your calculator much easier. So, after this, use your calculator, you will get 2x values. Already. So, our 2x values, minus 3 minus 17, which is minus 20 by 4, comma, minus 3 plus 17 which is 14 by 4. So our two values will be minus 5 and 7 by 2. So we got the two values already and we have one more solution here. So our all real solutions, there are three real solutions. X is 0, X is minus 5, X is 7 by 2 or 3.5. So we got the three real solutions already. And once you solve this correctly, you will get three marks for this question. If you take a look at our part B, we are given this equation. And they want you to find all, again, all real solutions of this equation. And you got four marks. Again, as I mentioned earlier, if you treat this as a separate, um, separate question, it will it will get you nowhere because you need to use the result that we derive in part A. But when you compare this uh, equation with part A, in part A we are given a cubic function, cubic equation, which is 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 35x is 0. And we got three solutions, 0, 5, and 7 by 2. We got 0, minus 5, and 7 by 2. We got, this is our part A. When you compare these two equations, as I mentioned already, part B got something to do with part A. So when you compare these two equations, you can rearrange this equation in this form by taking some factor as maybe x or y, x or u. What do I mean by that? Okay, let's say here we have 35x here, but we have 35y minus 5 whole square. And 3x square here, you have y minus 5 to the power 4. And here we have y minus 5 to the power 6, but you have x cubed. 
So if I take this term, y minus 5 whole square as u, and I replace this equation in terms of u, so this will become u cube. u cube is y minus 5 to the power 6. So this will become 2u cube plus 3 to the power 4. u square is y minus 5 to the power 4. So 3u square minus 35. This term is u equals 0. So by comparing these two, I take... I need x here. So whatever I have here, I take it as x or u. So when I convert this equation, I got a cubic equation, which is the same as the one we solve in part A. So when you don't need to solve this again, that's you're wasting your time. You can just take this result. So our u, the solution u will be 0, minus 5, and 7 by 2. Now that's the solution of this equation. Now what you need to do, you replace u by this. So our y minus 5 whole square is 0. When you solve this, you'll get some solution. And your y minus 5 whole square is minus 5. And y minus 5 whole square is 7 by 2. That's it. You solve these three and you'll, you'll look for all real solutions only. How do we solve this? Take square root on both sides. If y minus 5 whole square is 0, y minus 5 is 0, so your y is 5. That's our first real solution. Here, if you take a square root, it becomes plus or minus square root of negative number, which won't give you a real solution. So you don't need to take this, you can just vomit. Here, when you take square root, it becomes y minus 5 is plus or minus square root of 7 upon 2. So your y is 5 comes here, 5 plus or minus square root of 7 by 2. This is a real solution. So our real solutions are y is 5. So our solutions are y is 5 and y is 5 plus square root of 7 by 2, 5 minus square root of 7 by 2. The middle one we can omit it because it's it's not a real number. So you see here, if you want to score four marks and you don't want to spend much time, use the result that you got, that you derive in part A, which will make your life easier. You replace everything. You compare these two equations. Sometimes my student asks me that, how do I know I need to take this as U? Because the term looks so confusing. Okay. We know one thing that we need to uh, we need to uh, solve this part B by using the results in part part A, the result that we got in part A. So if you compare these two equations, first let's say you want to take y minus five as u. If you take y minus five as u, you will get two u to the power six plus three u to the power four minus thirty five u. If you take y minus 5 as u, again, it's a, it's a function in degree 6. You cannot solve this. It has nothing to do with part A. So you, if you compare, you have 35x here. But you have 35 some other term here. So why not take this whole term as x or u and try, it, try to change it to an equation in u. So you will get this. So once you got this, use the result from A and solve it directly. Again, this is not your solution because the equation is in terms of Y. So your solution must be in Y. The values of Y will be your solution. So you need to change U back to Y. U is Y minus 5 whole square. So when you change back to Y, you will get this solution.